Hi everyone, this is Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein for ChessOpeningsExplained.com and today I want to share with you traps and plans in the symmetrical English for black again based on our repertoire so symmetrical English is where we meet c4 with c5 and typically g3 with g6 so this is quite simple both sides develop the bishops and here after knight c3 knight c6 you see we have complete symmetry white can try to mess with our plan with this tricky move a3 a lot of people play this move these days by not committing the knight on g1 just yet and we already you know going back to this position we know what our plan is the pawn goes to e5 pawn goes to d6 this is called the botvinnik triangle knight goes to g7 sorry knight g2 goes to e7 castles followed by very simple play with either f5 or a6 b5 if allowed or even a5 locking things up or central play with bishop e6 and d5 however this move a3 is extremely tricky and you have to know how to answer it for instance the typical move e5 is a big mistake you actually fall for a well-known trap where white plays before x clan pawn sacrifice and just to show you how bad things could turn out for black let's see what happens if black takes and takes on b4 it looks as though black is simply pawn up right well not quite now white has a very powerful move bishop a3 taking advantage of this weekend diagonal well knight's under attack a5 is not going to help us because after bishop takes knight pawn takes you're actually going to lose material so this is not good enough and knight probably has to go back to c6 in that case white has another strong follow-up with knight b5 x clamp guess what there is now stop in knight d6 the position is extremely uncomfortable for black you know i can add that white scores 90 percent in the database in this position so what do we do against this tricky move a3 in the symmetrical english well my answer is he wants to set up a trap but in reality let's make a trap for white let's set it up with this move d6 it looks as though not much has happened e5 versus d6 white may still play b4 which is actually a big mistake now the same idea doesn't work at all and after pawn takes pawn takes knight takes obviously bishop a3 knight b5 is gonna do absolutely nothing here right we're simply gonna drop the knight back white has no single threat we can just pick up the rook on a1 or we can just simply play knight of six and just be up a pawn if you're more comfortable without grabbing the rook but you may say it as white but i have this check the check is queen a4 double attack and that is what white is basically putting his money on in this position in reality after knight c6 white has to gain the pawn back somehow so bishop takes c6 is the logical move but guess what after pawn takes queen takes bishop d7 it is actually black who has a big advantage after queen something like f3 we have the bishop pair most importantly this bishop on d7 has a bright future to go to one of these you know c6 square or c8 uh, h3 diagonals mostly because white's king side is totally damaged this is very important to know so you can simply play knight f6 i'm not sure how white's gonna get this guy out of the game castle and not only is this materially even black has a big advantage because of the bishop pair so it's very important going back to this position to remember that you're not afraid of the move b4 when you play the move d6 so you always meet a3 with d6 and if white plays rook b1 then we just transpose to a5 d3 e5 typical plans right we're gonna stop before we're gonna grab control over the center and after e3 knight g7 knight e2 castles castles we simply play rook b8 bishop d2 bishop e6 and now very important here we want to meet the move knight d5 if he doesn't play knight d5 we're about to play d5 ourselves with this very powerful counter play move b5 undermining white's position 
black is actually quite comfortable if white ever takes on e7 we're going to take with the knight and there's really no problems here whatsoever the pawn on c4 is under attack if white play b3 black can take over initiative with with the timer d5 push or even b4 first basically you have no problems whatsoever so let us try to review this trap and plans c4 c5 we're just going to go for the symmetrical again d6 e5 is our plan if he plays a3 you play d6 don't play e5 e5 is a big mistake and only after the rook b1 move do we play a5 with a great position now if he tries to go pawn tack on us we simply take it we're not afraid queen check knight back bishop takes pawn takes queen takes bishop d7 and then knight f6 black has a big advantage long term you have the attack you have the light squares white has absolutely nothing so i hope you remember the key ideas and use it in your own games in the english symmetrical variation thank you very much this was grandmaster eugene perlstein for chess openings explain.com goodbye